The most complimentary thing you can say about an actor is that he's versatile. But some studios, when they've got a script that calls for a young actor to do an odd or an off-bit piece of uh, playing, they sort of rack their brains and say, who can we borrow? At Paramount, when they get a script like that, they say, uh, John can do it. They mean John Lund. <laughs> I am here to present the award for uh, sound recording. Most people, even those of us who should know better, think that sound recording is accomplished by pressing a button and then getting out of the way. It is, in fact, an extremely complicated task calling for the coordination and cooperation of a whole group of highly trained men. It is this, for this reason that the sound award is not given to an individual. The nominees for the best achievement by a studio sound department are Once More My Darling, Neptune Films, Universal International, Sands of Iwo Jima, Republic, and 12 O'Clock High, 20th Century Fox. May I have the envelope? The winner is 12 O'Clock High, 20th Century Fox. <laughs> Accept the award for sound recording for 12 o'clock high. Because this is also one of the pictures up for the Major Picture Award. He's had three previous awards to sound departments headed by him, has Mr. Thomas Bolton. Thank you, John Lund, and the award was accepted by Thomas D. Moulton of 20th Century Fox Sound Department. 